thought I would try to pop on where you could actually see me tonight. And I don't know if you can see me or not. So let me see if I can find on here uh, if you can see me or not. So let me pull my iPad over here real fast because I never know. I never know if you can see me or not. Facebook keeps me guessing all the time. Hey, I think you can see me, because I can see. <laughs> so, I am gonna continue our little kitchen adventure, and we're gonna make some more kitchen stuff. I love this little bistro sign. So hop on and say hello. There's Miss Karen. Hi, Karen. You're not cooking or anything tonight? You're just hanging out with us? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can do something else here. Yep, I'm back. <laughs> She's like, there you are. Okay. I think, I think, I think that we can see each other, sort of. Uh, I would like it tons better if I could actually see everyone's face. But, you know, that's not going to happen. So, <laughs> uh, so, let me show you how our little cook, pray, and eat sign turned out last night. I think it turned out so cute. Uh, there's Kathy and Dana. Hello, ladies. So, I love how this one turned out. I tell you, these little reversible boards are just the cutest. I haven't done anything on the back side yet, just because I haven't decided. So, when I decide, it will be done. <laughs> but tonight, we're going to use this cute little spinner bistro sign that chalk now makes and i think that is cute as can be and i guess a lot of people thought that it's cute as can be because it is sold out along with a whole bunch of other stuff so if i haven't sent you a catalog it's because one i'm slow and two there's so much sold out right now because uh yeah chalk has some great products <laughs> that um, there's going to be several things coming back in stock in the next few weeks. So, I'll get your catalogs to you. And if, if you haven't told me that um, you want a catalog, then please do. And I will get one to you very, very soon. So, hey, Pat. Let's see who else is over here saying hello. Um, really like the rosewood color. Yeah, that's a pretty color, isn't it, Karen? So... Okay, let's get to busy, ladies. A little drink so I can not have a sore throat. A little medicinal purposes. <laughs> My father-in-law used to always keep um, a little bit of liquor <laughs> handy just for medicinal purposes only. And I always think of him, no matter if it's water I'm drinking or anything, because he was just a great great Irish guy and tons of fun. <laughs> uh, he used to send me to, he used to send me to the quick stop to buy candy for him. He loved his candy but his wife didn't want it in the house so he would say he would give me money and say, Well you run to the quick stop and then he'd keep it in his truck. <laughs> he was just a little Irishman. Uh, I loved I loved my in laws. Okay. Bistro son. Bistro bistro. So, this is not only the cutest little spinning sign, but it comes apart so that you can totally chalk on it easily. And I love chalk surfaces. They are always nice quality. So that just pops right out of there. Is that not handy? I mean, how smart is that, you guys? And this little, this kitchen is for dancing. I think I'm gonna use that again on one side of this board because I love it. And I'm also going to use 
The other part, one of the parts of that transfer and that is leftovers are for quitters or quilters, Kathy, whichever one. But you know, both of those fit. We were laughing about that last night. <laughs> so I'm gonna add just a little bit of a little buffalo check along the bottom because I want this to look real farmhousey. And we're really not gonna use a bunch of colors on this one because I want it just to have the black and white because you guys know I love the black and white. So I'm just going to put, I'm going to do, but I'm going to make sure this is going to fit where I want it before I do. Because I don't like it to be too top heavy. It looks, if you get your, to me, if you get your lettering too high, it looks top heavy. So I'm going to do something about like that. That looks pretty good. So we're just going to do just a little bit. And this is just a piece of our um, buffalo check. So, hi, Ashley. And... Paula, you're going to have to tell me how to say your name. I I used to always have my kids say their names when I when I worked at school. And because I always, I'm not good at pronouncing. But I'm happy to see you back here watching. So, yeah, I love all those too, uh, Kathy. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You know, her transfers work beautifully on shirts. Just needs a little ink instead of the paste. And... Um, okay, back to, I, I get, you know, there's a butterfly. So we're going to do, just use a little piece of our, our, our buffalo check. And this is our mini buffalo. And I'm just going to put, just going to swipe across there. And I never want, whoops, hang on. I never want my buffalo check to be like just perfect. So I kind of just hit and miss. I want it to look a little rough edged. That's just the rustic in me. So I always leave it a little rough and you will see that. And so, ah, see, I love that. And the nice thing about paste, I know that's very rustic and you guys can make it totally neat if you want. But the nice thing about paste is I've got some along the edge and I, while it's still wet, I can totally wipe that off or I can come back after it's dry and just touch it up with like a Q-tip or something. But I love that. I wanted just a little bit of messy, messy look. So now I, I totally love this leftovers are for quitters. It is just too cute. Hi, Jan. And since we haven't used this one, I'm going to stick it onto my little fuzzing cloth here. And let me move these little... I love these transfer... By the way, I love these transfer backing sheets because you can just stick your transfers back on there after you cut them out. And they, too, are out of stock right now because, let me tell you, we got some hot items going on, you guys. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, you can look at it either... Uh, whichever way you want, but I choose to look at it. We have a lot of items because we do so much good stuff. So I'm just going to press this onto this towel. And it's just, they call it a fuzzing cloth, but a towel is the same. But this one just happens to match. Hey, it matches. I match. I match, I match chalk today. I wasn't paying attention to that. <laughs> okay. So let's put this one right above. And I'm going to try not to touch the bottom down there. But if I do, yeah, I can do it again. I don't worry. The only time I get a little crazy is if I'm using ink, I want to make sure my fingertips are not messy and getting a mess. So I'm going to do this in white also because because I do want this just to be black and white because I think, and I didn't bring it over here, but I have a black and white, the Buffalo Check uh, ribbon that will be perfect on that. So, you guys know, if you've seen this at all, this is just too dang fun. So, these transfers have all that beautiful silk screen in there. And that they stick down. And then that the paste is thick so it doesn't go through like paint. And that's what makes our life so easy and so fun. <laughs> and then I love this part, of course. It's the aha. Ooh, let's pull it off and see. Ooh. And I've got a little issue going on here, but that's okay because I'm going to show you what I did. And it's the first time I've ever messed up. <laughs> no, you know it's not. So my fork did not come through clearly. And 
I'm going to show you why. Because my paste dried in my little silk screens. So the silk screens, if you don't pull it off fast enough, and especially if it's very, very tiny details, which that is, then it won't all come off on there. So that just looks like I got a big old X up there. But the good thing about it is I can wash this off and I can use it again and just redo that. So I'm gonna just, I've got some water over here and I'm gonna just wipe this off with a water, just water and a wet sponge because we're gonna stop putting our transfers in here to soak. We're gonna just rinse them off right quick. Lysol wipes or whatever you want to. Oh, there's another one of my little boards I'm gonna show you. Um, but they really wash quickly and they really dry quickly. Let me scoot this out of the way so I don't get water on it. But you can totally uh, just rinse it off in water and just make sure that you get everything out of those little screens. And you can see through them. You can see that they're, that they're uh, empty of chalk. Now I can see a little bit. Let me rub this one more time. But normally you would just take this to the sink and wipe it off. I'm going to just do this so you can see because it's really important to know that if you wipe the water off of it um, after you're finished it dries super quick and I think it makes your transfers last longer so it loses the sticky as soon as you get finished with it and stick it in the water or under the water but really fast as soon as you dry it off it's already getting the sticky again so when that dries I can totally put that back on top but for now I'm gonna just lay it over here and then I'll put it back on there. So we're gonna let this part dry for a minute. And let me go ahead and just take off the fork and spoon and show you. Now I knew better than that. I knew that because the fork and the spoon was very small detail, but I was busy running my mouth. I knew that if I did those first, they would totally, but see how easy it comes off. They would totally do that because that dries really fast and I've also got a fan blowing from over there. So I knew better, but I got to show you how easy it is to clean up. So I'm gonna set that over and let it dry over here for just a minute. And then we're gonna put that back on and I'm gonna do that quicker and it's not, well, I hope it's not gonna do that. Uh, so hi Valerie and Linda, how are y'all tonight? Um, so let me show you what else we're working on for kitchen. So I didn't paint these with you tonight because I wanted to paint them yesterday to see if what I like. So I've done some little, I'm calling them little farmhouse pans because I have some that look like a regular frying pan. This is more a little, I don't know, little farmhouse look is what I think. So, um, we had something similar to this in the catalog and I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. So this one I painted black first, and then I come back with some off-white, antique white on top. And again, I think I was telling you this other night, it's key to keep your uh, dry brushing going in one direction, and that makes your eye flow whichever way you want. So this one I did in this direction, and then this one, to let you compare, I did the opposite. And it, so it totally does give a different look, doesn't it? I mean, I think, I think it just totally makes a difference. So you definitely don't want to zigzag it, you know? <laughs> you want it to go one way or the other. <laughs> and then here is the third one, and like magic, it's already done. But this is part of the pantry uh, transfer, and I love that pantry transfer. It's got so much cute stuff on it. Um, and then I just added a little tie. Uh, but this one I just painted an antique white and then just took a little bit of gray and made a little lines in there. And actually, I was going to do, like in the catalog, they had some little whirly, whirly gig things that, in the pantry um, set. But I don't know where mine are. I went through a whole stack while ago and I had no little whirlies. So <laughs> I'm whirlied out, I guess. I'll have, to, I'll have to look for something else because I do think it needs something else down there. But I may use some little bowls that we had um, on the transfer that we used the other night with the stir and stir and bake and no, what is it? Stir, <laughs> measure, stir something and bake. 
<laughs> I don't, you know I cook a lot because <laughs> I don't know the order. <laughs> My grandson would, but I don't. Okay, so while that one's drying, these are my thoughts. I love this made from scratch. And this is the smaller pan. And I think that would be super, super cute on it. And I'm gonna use one of our new colors. So we can either use the Colonial Blue or the Lakeshore. So I'll hold them up here where you guys can see. Um, the Colonial Blue is this one. And the Lakeshore is this one. And I love both of these. They are brand new colors. I haven't even opened them and stirred them, so you see them kind of flopping around in there. But that's normal. So what do y'all like? Do you like? And there's Tina. Hey, Tina. So give me some choices. And there's Phyllis. Hi, Phyllis. How are you tonight? So I think one of these... And it's gonna be, we're gonna do the made from scratch, or we could use both of them. Do we want two tones of blue? You guys tell me what you think. I definitely wanna try these blues because I just think they're so pretty. So let me open them, I'll open both of them and you can see that it may be hard to tell the difference on screen. Um, they, there is just kind of a subtle difference, but when you open these two, if you haven't seen you're gonna to need to stir, and that's totally normal. I'm gonna get my extra chalk off the lid because it takes such a little amount, I always like, don't wanna waste it. So just get a little stir stick. You don't wanna ever stir with wood because it'll take your moisture out. So chalk makes these little stir sticks or just anything that's plastic or silicon or whatever. So this has, this has a nice consistency. I like this. So your paste works the best most of the time if it has a creamy yogurt sour cream kind of mixture um, sometimes I get mine a little bit thinner with a little bit of water especially when I'm doing a real tiny thing uh, because it dries super fast but and like I said I've got a fan blowing <laughs> over here let's see Kathy says two-tone Phyllis says two-tone. Karen says Lake Shore. Let's see what else. Okay, let's get this one open and take a peek at it. This is the Lake Shore. This looks a lot like the Liberty color that they made for um, leadership. We got a color and I'm so excited because uh, it was um, such a pretty color. Okay, now this one, you can tell it's much thicker. This is totally normal with your paste. Uh, some paste will be thick and some will be thinner and it is totally how they're made is it you can blame all the pigments is what you can blame but both of them you can stir even if they look a whole ton different give them a stir this one I'm probably going to give a, a little bit of water uh, because I just prefer it to be a little bit smoother and since this hasn't been open let's give it a little spritz of water and I'm going to lay the lid back on this one because I seriously have a fan just right over here and it's going to it's going to help them dry out. So one time my first show I did, I demoed this outside and it was 90, I think it's like 92, it was 90 something. And talk about drying fast, but I figured out that if I demoed ink on fabric, that was perfect because I wanted that to dry. So that would dry and I didn't have to worry um, that it was, you know, having to wait on it to dry. Okay, so there's our two colors. What do y'all think? Do you think they would look nice together? Hmm, let's see what, let's see if you have any thoughts on it. There's Holly and Shelly. Karen has changed her vote. Can we do that? Can she change her vote? <laughs> I think so. She's changed her vote to two-tone, so I think that's a consensus, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> uh, so, let me put this wide over here. <laughs> okay, we're going to do the made from scratch, and I've already, my board is already prepped, or my pan, um, but where's my little buzz cloth? Let me stick that down, because that's the first time I've used this one. Okay. 
So hopefully uh, y'all can still see. I keep checking the iPad to see if you can see and to see if uh, you got anything going on I need to answer. Okay, so we're gonna do this little made from scratch and press it down. So that little, the little measuring cup that's at the top, I don't wanna do that first because it will do just like the fork because it is a very tiny area. But look at the detail it's gonna have. It's gonna have the little lines on there, which is why I stinking love these transfers. And that is stinking crooked. You know, I have to always hold this up. <laughs> and I am holding it up now, so I'm gonna get it nice and straight. I think I'm gonna do the top letters and then I'm gonna do scratch in a different one. So. But the details, again, oh my goodness, so nice. Okay, so let's let's do the word scratch first. And where are my little squeegees? And I think I'm gonna do this darker, I think this was what color? You guys probably are better, colonial. So let's do just the word scratch. And you could totally take this off. Um, I'm gonna just try to be speedy. And if it's a big transfer, I would peel this up and do the next one, but we're gonna just try to be fast because, ah, I don't have a little squeegee over here because uh, this is not a lot, so we're just gonna do, and this may not even be enough to contrast, we'll see, but I love both of these blues, and I think a lot of blues are coming back. Okay, let's peel this off really quick, and so hopefully we didn't have, let it have time to dry in there. Yeah, that's very subtle very subtle let me hold it up so you can see it and the uh so totally if i decided i didn't want that to be that subtle i could come back and i do this a lot because i just really like the look of a uh, different um like you know like outlines and things like that so i could totally come back and put um like a layer of black and use the same transfer and just offset it and it just gives it like an outline and those colors I say I don't think you can see it as well let me hold it up a little bit closer um, the colors are very very subtle uh, and they're very they're a little more vibrant than I'm seeing on my iPad so anyway but the details so cute you guys and we'll just let me put these over here right quick I want to put a lid on these because, again, my fan, I don't. And you want to always kind of try to clean the lids of your paste and leave it down in there so that it lasts much longer. And you can also take like a cloth or something and clean the edges. I'm not that diligent. I should be more diligent, but I'm not that diligent. <laughs> but this paler blue... Lakeshore, I believe it is, is so pretty, but I like the colonial blue because it is that muted color that I so, so love. So, that needs a lid. Okay, what do y'all think about that one? Colonial looks a little darker tone than Lakeshore. It is high K Chandler Merritt, and I don't know if I said hi to Danny and Michelle because I get talking and I don't know. So, but yeah, those are those are pretty colors. So I'm just gonna add a little a little tie up here. And then this one will be done. So if you ever need some cute wood cutouts, you can message me and I can let you know where to get them. I just happen to know somebody. So there we go. And so we'll just trim that a little bit and it'll be ready. I was looking at some great uh, kitchen gallery walls on Pinterest the other day and so much cute. This would be so cute with some of these that we did last night or was this two nights ago? Girls, I don't know. I have challenged myself to do lives more often so I don't know what I did when but these are cute, aren't they? <laughs> I think they would make a great gallery. And you know, this one I did sideways just by accident, but it's probably my favorite. And so today I cut out some even bigger 
um, uh, breadboards, cheese boards, whatever that I can chalk on. So, kitchen week is not over. <laughs> so let me set this over here and let it dry. And I bet our leftovers or quitters is probably dry by now. Hi, Kathy and Carol. Well, thanks, Phyllis. Thanks, Carol. So let me show you this big, this big board that I cut out today. It's so cute. It's, it's all big and chunky. How cute is that? I cannot wait to put, I know the measurement sign, the measurement transfer is no longer, is no longer with us. <laughs> but there's also one about a cupcake and falling off the wagon. <laughs> I don't know. It would be cute on here too. So I'm going to actually paint this some color. Y'all will be surprised. I don't know what color yet. But I also did, I did that one. And then I did these cute little chunky ones. They're even smaller. This is my smallest one that I did the other night. And see, they're even smaller. And how cute are they? I cannot wait. I, I love all of them. I'm hooked on these. So, I got focus though. Back, back to focus. I think you're right, Carol. I think it was two nights ago. I can't. I'm trying to think, oh, last night we did this. I was like, what did I do last night? Last night was this, Ah, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, it, this COVID thing, I blame everything on COVID. Not that I was forgetful before, um, but it's all COVID's fault, so. Okay, let's see where we're at. So let's do, let's see if this is dry, I believe it is. So let's put our little transfer back on here and put our little fork and spoon back on. So, I got it over here and it's dry. And these actually are really pretty easy to, well, I they're pretty easy to line up. Um, I say that and I'm like, oh, sh should I say that right before I try to line this up? This one doesn't really matter that much because it's not gonna matter because the fork and the spoon are totally separate. But I'm gonna show you that you'll be able to see the white through here, but now without my glasses. So. so this one's not lined up perfectly, but I'm gonna show you anyway so you can see how well you can see through it. So you can totally see the white through there. And you can also see there's a little black, so you can see I don't have it lined up perfectly, but it's not gonna matter because we just want a fork and spoon. So, quick, quick fork and spoon. I'm gonna just use the little stir stick. And, but that was what happened. These are so, so tiny that that paste dries like super fast. So, no dilly dally and talking on this one. I just have to do it and pull it. Oh, I failed again. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm a, I'm a failure tonight. <laughs> I may hate this transfer. <laughs> I'm gonna wash it again though because I am stubborn like that. Make sure that I have it all clean because maybe I didn't get it all clean. Okay, I'm gonna move this over. But look, I did the same thing. Oh, ugh, ugh, ugh. Failure. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna spritz this with a little bit of water and make sure. Those little, those little um, tongs are so, so tiny. So I'm gonna scrub it off one more time. I'm not gonna be a quitter, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it again in a little bit when it's dry, but I'm gonna take that off again because if I don't take that off, I will never match that up. But it looks like what if I have a transfer that doesn't have, no, you can, it's there. It's just very, very small, very, very small. So the next thing we're gonna try on this one is to make our, um, I don't think I even need some water, is to make our paste a little bit thinner because that that is still not coming off on there. So now I've got a challenge. You guys know I love a challenge. I'm like, it is not gonna win. <laughs> okay, we're gonna set this one over. And actually, you know what we can do? Let's do the other side. And then we'll let that dry another minute. Ah, uh, I did this at a, uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> My sister would say squirrel. Exactly. I'm always that way. Uh, and there may be a little paste in the screen, Karen. Hey, Anna. How are you tonight, girly? Um, let's see what we were going to put on the other side of this one. Let's see if I already have it out. The good stuff we already did. And this chicken, I think it's going to be cute on that other other pan over there, you guys. So I have a mission for that since we're kind of sticking with the farmhouse. Um, I don't know if I want to do... Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to do this same, this kitchen is for dancing because I just think that's super cute. Let me move all my junk out of the way. You can see all of my junk tonight. <laughs> Usually I can hide some of my junk, but you're seeing all of it tonight. So let's see. I'm going to have to work a little bit faster. So I was going to show you the dune color, but I sold that today. And I had only ordered one uh, for some weird reason. I have no idea why. So we're not going to see Dune. We're going to see white again, I think. So this kitchen is for dancing. And let's put the little feet down here, too, so we'll just have it all ready. But you know what? I think I like that higher. You guys, I change my mind constantly. Does anybody else... But with chalk, you can, because if you're like, I don't like it, I can just wipe it off. So, <laughs> so that makes it so nice. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go again. Now, I'm almost reaching for that. <gasps> you guys, that harvest last night. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I can't do it white. I have to do one of these new colors. Okay. I think, oh, the shimmer white. Oh my gosh, how could I have forgotten a shimmer white? <gasps> Let's do it. Oops, I got paste falling over there. So, oh my goodness. That's gonna be some pretty paste, I do believe. I do not know what is falling over there. I'm not even touching it. All right, if you guys could see my shop right now, when I'm creating, it's a mess. It is a mess. Everywhere. Everywhere is a mess. My husband doesn't think it's that bad, but I'm just like, I have a mess everywhere. And I just move, move to the next mess. <laughs> but it's so much fun. Uh, okay. We're going to do all of this in the shimmer, shimmer white. Because it's so pretty. Let me grab another. Oh, there's my little squeegees. Okay, I'm going to set this over here because that's going to go, our sign's going to go back in that in a minute. But I don't think you can really see that this has any shimmer in it. And it almost, it almost looks kind of gray. So I'm curious as to how that looks on. So, pretty nifty. But it's nice and creamy. The shimmer colors are always just your friend. They're so creamy. Um, it must be the glitter. When we, when we were at Chalk Central, um, there was actually some glitter on the floor around where they were doing the glitter. And he was like, we, we tried to clean that all up and make it all nice before y'all came. And we're like, no, it's glitter. We like glitter. So <laughs> let's do the little feet first because they're on top, even though they're on the bottom of the board. And let's pull it off super quick. Woohoo! It almost looks like a gray, you guys. And of course, this one is not straight. It is crooked. Crooked. Oh my goodness. Anna, I'm channeling your mama, my sweet Aunt Betty. Sometimes, I tell you, she had the most fun crafting of anybody I know. And she always had about 10 things, at least, going on. She would totally be like, way to go, girl. Your shop is not a mess. <laughs> it is creative minds going on. <laughs> okay, let me move that over so you can see this. So, we're going to do this one super quick. Super quick, no chatty. No looking away. Get it done. Put that down. Peel this off. Ooh, I almost wasn't fast enough on the little K for the kitchen, you guys. You gotta be fast when you're sitting in front of a fan, apparently. 
so look how cute though and that really you can't tell has the shimmer um i don't think something is still falling over there i do not know i think it's probably paste uh karen says sounds like me in a one bedroom hi mark and terry uh it sounds like not enough room and too much of a mess oh girl i can make a mess whether it is a little bit or if it's i got a big room or a little room so uh my shop has a lot of big room but it's still all messy but it's all right it's a creative messy so i think that's super cute i love 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 this white shimmer and the reason i think i like it more than even just the shimmer part is it looks a little bit gray and i love some gray colors so okay so we're gonna set that aside and let it dry and you know what i may leave the forks off the top of this and just do another little band of messy messy buffalo check at the bottom like at the bottom but at the top because i'm thinking that might be cuter anyway so we'll set that over and let it dry and we have one more quick project and then you know what let me show you how this goes back on because it is super easy and these will be back in stock so it just fits right on that little that little base screw thing when you can see it let's see there we go and then it just matches up and then that just screws back into the top and makes you the cutest little sign that you can change out so that one little transfer pack that has the four different ones in it um, would be super cute for this because you can totally do i just love this it's just fun to spin it <laughs> i'm gonna set it over here <laughs> because um <laughs> yes every room is for dancing terry of course <laughs> my dancing friend oh my goodness you're right okay i'm gonna put that right here we're gonna do so this last one I thought would be just cute as a button with just this chicken. This was from the big farmhouse set. So I'm thinking that's what we want to put on there. So, and I'm thinking, hmm, I don't know what I'm thinking on this one, you guys. What do y'all think? It's got to have some color. And it's just going to be a chicken by itself. I started thinking about putting like eggs on here, but I think just the chicken would be cute. It would go with just anything. So let's give me some color choices here. This is our shimmer, shimmer crimson. And I think that would make a lovely chicken. And then the scarlet that we had from, I think we used this, we did use the scarlet last night. And what else do I have over here? I'm still loving this this shimmer harvest i'm wanting to just make everything everything shimmer harvest so next week may have to be <laughs> may have to be fall pumpkin week so that i can use all those part those colors so our chicken i can't get too crazy on here with color y'all um there's camel is a new one. Oh, we haven't used the shimmer black yet oh my goodness but i don't want it to be just black how about the reds? One of the reds, you guys. What do you think? So we have the Shimmer Crimson. And then we used this color, I believe, last night. Or did we use the Shimmer? You guys, I tell you. I Oh, no, we didn't use the Shimmer. Is the Shimmer too much for a chicken? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm still thinking that Harvest would make that. When the word cry, that would make a cute, <laughs> a pretty chicken. <laughs> We could do the harvest and the red, maybe. What do y'all think? Let's see. Harvest for the feet. Oh, good idea. And shimmer crimson. Hmm. I think. I think you are onto something, girl. I didn't even think about harvest for the feet. I can use. That would be perfect. Should I do the little bit of beak, too? I think so. Yes. Let's see if that happens. Okay. Let's do 
the shimmer first, the red. And let's do, and I haven't opened this one yet, so you'll get to see that it's all nice and creamy as well. Get all that good stuff off the lid. As you guys know, it takes such a, such a dab. I think that's a commercial somewhere. Okay. So, we are going to do this little chicken. Let me make sure it's down nicely. And the red. And then we're going to do just a little touches. You know what? I'm almost thinking we should add a little bit of this in his feathers somewhere, too. Should we just kind of mix those? I'm thinking that might be pretty. What do y'all think? Go for it. The thing about it is, is I can always do another one. <laughs> so I'm like, hmm. So I think that's what I'll do. We'll mix them. After I get a drink. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Is there any other colors? Making sure there's nothing else I want to use, too. Mm. That would be a very patriotic chicken if I used that. Uh, that would be kind of that would be kind of Americana though, wouldn't it? Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, I gotta focus. <laughs> ah, shoot. Sometimes I, I I have too much fun. And if anybody come by and just saw me in here talking, <laughs> it would be like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dippity do a little dabble to you, <laughs> exactly. Okay, let's let's do this. <laughs> oh shoot. Okay, we're gonna do red all across there, and I think maybe some more red here. And we'll just let those kind of mix. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, we've got to be fast here. Let's use a little bit of this harvest. Ooh, I could use my new little tool for this if I'm fast enough. So it has a neat little tip on it. And it doesn't pick up a lot of pace like the other squeegee, so you have to kind of be really fast. But it's a pretty nifty little tool. And I didn't know until Karen told me last night the other end you take off and it's got, I'll show you in a minute, it's got a really very pointed end. I thought it was just this. So I totally, I totally missed that little part. Okay, and now we're gonna, I'm just gonna put some other colors in here. And I'm hoping I'm working fast enough because I don't think I am. It looks like my red could be dry. So, let's see if we get any color mixing here. I don't know. <laughs> it may just be a hot mess, but I, <laughs> I like it so far. I'm going to do a little more up here and just leave the comb by itself. And we're getting a little more harvesty. But, you know, chickens have that color, so I'm good with that. And let's just do the right up next to that. Oh, I think he's gonna be lovely. Oh, yeah, so cute, so cute. Oh my goodness. He's got it all going on. Or she, he, it, whatever. <laughs> but, and the other thing about uh, paste is if I left the transfer on here, I could totally have kind of smudged that around a little bit um, you don't want to do it with just your finger without the screen, but, um, let me see if I don't have it wet yet. Nope. Let's put it back on for just a second. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And you can totally just kind of blend that. i got to be careful with this. Ah! Get on there where you're supposed to. This is why my afterthoughts get me into trouble, but you can totally blend those. Let me swipe it across. Because the screen makes such a different... Um, you can totally blend those with your finger a little bit. 
So if you want them to be a little more blended, or change your mind, and then you can also come back over this. Like if I go, oh, I totally changed my mind on that, then I can come back, because I just didn't want them quite as splotchy as they were. So let's get just a tad bit more red. And this is, of course, fun. <laughs> and your kids will come in and go, what are you doing? So let's use that and swipe that down just a little bit. Now, oh, I like it. I like it, I like it. I've got to get this off my fingers, though. Okay, so you can see kind of the difference. I may not have showed it to you long enough, but... Um, Oh, thanks, Carol. I think it's just cute little chicken anyway. So, totally can pop it back on there, do something else to it, and I think he's cute on there just by himself. I don't even think he needs anything else on there. So, that will do us for tonight, I think. Did I do everything? And you don't want to put this back in because I've, I've mixed my color, so I'm not going to put that back in my harvest because... You guys, this harvest is my favorite, favorite, favorite. And I think it was a great idea for the feet and the beak. I love that, just letting them be solid by themselves. So cute. So. <laughs> I like it, Karen. Yes, it is a new breed. I, <laughs> I make them up every night. <laughs> I love them. I love, if I didn't have Abby, I would totally have some chickens because I love, I love chickens. <laughs> but, oh, and let me show you this little tool. Let me show you the other end of this little tool. Let me wipe off this end so I don't wear it too much. Um, Karen told me this. I had no idea that this comes off. And then you have a great little pointy tool that you can seriously get a little, a little dot in there. I was totally happy with this end and making a dot because I always use my paintbrush. But this, now you've got a whole new thing. Totally. And I wouldn't be surprised because I use a paintbrush for this a lot that you couldn't also remove a little bit of color with that. Because there's a lot of times that I will just slide a paintbrush right up next and it just pulls that edge off. So, thank you Karen for filling me in on the new on the new tool. <laughs> Uh, I've totally been on the run and just having so much fun making that I had no idea. So, you guys have any questions anytime, you know where to find me, message me. If you need a catalog and I haven't sent you one yet, um, I will definitely do that. Let's see if there's any questions over here before I get off. So, that looks like it, you guys. So, there's our different pieces for tonight. And I think this one would be super cute with this one. Because we use those same, you know, some of those same similar shades and tones. Very cute. And then, my favorite little spinner sign, of course. And I'm going to do, I'll take it back off and put that other up here at the top. Because I don't think those little forks are going to work. I think they're just... I, I have to really thin my paste down. And this is just like fun to do. <laughs> so, thanks for hanging out with me tonight, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. And, um... Let's see. When you're doing... Oh, when you're doing your retired sale. Um... I don't know. I'm going to try to do it this week. I don't know if that's going to happen. I've still got several other things scheduled, uh, including a team time on Friday night. So I'm not sure. Um, and it may end up being like Sunday. Uh, and so if you see me start posting some, I'll try to, I'll try to let you know. Um, I haven't got pictures of everything yet. So, but that's a good question. So hopefully... This week or the first of next week is what I'm looking at. Okay, you guys have a great night. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I am going to hop up and turn this little thing off. And um, you too, Karen. Good night. So I will catch you later and have a good night. Bye, y'all.